Welcome back. Another way to flow test intake manifolds is uh, with a fixture like this. Uh, we made this fixture many, many years ago to flow test uh, cast iron, two barrel, and four barrel intake manifolds in stock form to see which were the best ones. Um, trying to do it on a cylinder head would be very clumsy, uh, very time consuming. Uh, this particular fixture allowed us to flow test manifolds very quickly and very accurately. This is kind of how it works. It's an acrylic stand. It's what we used to make our, our equipment out of. And uh, this one, this piece here has a sliding top. And the sliding top has these, these trap doors. So basically what, how we, how we uh, full test an intake manifold is we mount an intake manifold on here. And if we want to flow test this particular cylinder, we pull this out. We pull, put this half door in there. And now we're just flow testing that cylinder and that cylinder only. Okay? We've told a few people about this fixture over the years and somebody wanted us to make one, but they're just a little bit too time consuming uh, to make. But this is what you would use if you wanted to flow test a bunch of manifolds. And this is kind of how it works. I'll demonstrate it for you. Here's a cast iron tuber modified intake manifold. Go ahead and put our intake manifold gasket on here. And now we're going to put the intake on. We're going to bolt the intake manifold down with uh, just a couple bolts for demonstration purposes. I would put four of them on there. And as you notice on the other side of the intake manifold, we have that blocked off. And I'm sure you know why. So if you're going to be drawing from one cylinder, you don't want to be drawing from the opposite side of the intake manifold. You just want to draw from that one cylinder and that one cylinder only. I'm going to tighten down the intake manifold here. And then up on the top, we're going to be drawing through the carburetor area. So I'm going to put a radius flow guide on the carburetor area. Just like the radius flow guides we have for the cylinder heads, this one will go right on top of the, of the intake manifold. So now we're basically ready to flow test. So now I would go ahead and I would turn on my machine. I'm here uh, in the front of the intake manifold by number one and number three runner. I'd turn on the machine, dial it up to 28 inches. I'd pull this door out. I'd put that door back in. I would get my flow reading, and then I would do the next one. I would go ahead, I'd put this back in, pull this one out, put that in to block it off, get my flow reading. And then I would shut off the machine, and then I would slide down to the next pair of cylinders. Basically how we would do that would be to loosen these knobs. We would slide the whole fixture down to number five and number seven and just repeat it. So you can see how quick this is and how accurate it is. And then we'd flip the intake manifold over and do the other side. So that's how we flow tested literally hundreds of intake manifolds over the years, two barrels, four barrels, trying to determine which are the best casting numbers. For instance, a cast iron two barrel intake manifold like this uh, would flow about 155 to 160 CFM average. Okay, that's the average of all eight cylinders. You have to find a way to evaluate your results. Uh, you just can't look at all the different flow numbers and say, well, this one flowed two CFM better than that one. So what we did is we got the gross flow number on eight cylinders, put them into a computer program, and then we averaged them. And that's how we determined which were the better ones and which were the worse ones, which we would sell stock and which, we, which ones we would modify. So again, a stock intake would flow about 160 CFM on, on the criteria that we use. This is a stage one intake manifold. This one will flow about 185 CFM average. Now the fully modified intake, those are the ones that we bore the holes in the top and the bottom. That intake manifold flows about 205 to 210 CFM. And again, this is just a comparator. Okay, that's all it is, comparing A to B. Like I talked before, A to B to A. If you can do A to B to A with two different operators and get the same results, well, you can take that to the bank all day long. And that's what you want to do with your fixturing and your flow testing. So until next time, um, post any comments or questions below, and uh, we'll see you in the next segment.